Y'all, we're going to do some authentic-ish pork al pastor. We're going to do it on our Ninja Wood Fire Grill. Give it that good wood fire flavor. Stick around, baby. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. Welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Guys, we got a good one for you today. We're outside. Let's throw some smoke in there. What do you say? The first thing we did was get that pork shoulder sliced up. Now, I got the boneless pork shoulder uh, just because it's a little easier to get sliced We did about quarter inch, half inch slices, okay? Slice it as many times as you can. I use obviously a very sharp knife. Get those set aside. As I said, guys, we're gonna make some pork al pastor and it starts with the marinade, guys. Nothing more important. And guys, I will have the measurements and ingredients down below. So basically we got ourselves some achote paste. That is the most integral ingredient of El Pastor, the chili paste, the achote paste, okay? I'll put a link for it down below in the video description because I actually had to order mine off of Amazon. All right, we got a handful of spices, some chili, some cumin, salt, pepper, garlic, all that stuff. Those are all going into a bowl. Then we're gonna go ahead and pour in a cup of pineapple juice. And then usually it calls for vinegar, but I'm not such a big fan of vinegar. But what I usually do is substitute lime juice for the vinegar. Is it that acidic uh, flavor in there that we're looking for? So that's what I went ahead and did. I did the juice of one lime. Guys, if you guys want to do the half a cup of vinegar it calls for, knock yourself out. But I use lime in mine and it gives it that, you know, acidity, that fruity, citrusy flavor that goes great with that pineapple. Okay. Once that marinade is done, we're going to go ahead and take the pork shoulder slices and put them into a gallon baggie. Now I love using the gallon baggies for uh, marinating because you can squish them, move them, flip them, all that good stuff to keep, make sure everything is coated and marinated. Got the pork shoulder in the gallon baggie and then poured over that marinade and zipped it tight and then started squishing, moving, jumping, throwing that bag around, whatever it takes to make sure you got those pork slices totally covered with that marinade, do it, all right? <laughs> and then you're gonna go ahead and throw it in the refrigerator for two hours at least. I think I went about three hours on mine, okay? Hope you're with me so far, right? Once the pork was marinated, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna slice up our pineapple. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do with that pineapple, cut the top off, and I'm gonna lop off that bottom. And then we're gonna skin the outside of it, kind of kind of take your knife around the curvature of the pineapple, get all those little eyes out of there, and get it as clean as possible. And then we're going to cut the top and the bottom of it, of the flesh, in about one inch pieces that are gonna be the top and the bottom of our al pastor skewer. And then I cut little quarter inch slices of that pineapple that we're gonna put in between the pork as we get it on the skewer. I got these skewers actually from the original Ninja Foodie Grill, I believe. Uh, I've had them in my drawer forever. These are just nice stainless steel metal skewers. I think they're about eight inches. I put two of the skewers in the bottom pineapple chunk and then place the pork slices on top through the skewer. So you're gonna skewer those pork slices down. Every couple pieces of pork, I'm gonna throw one of those little thin slices of the pineapple, and then we're gonna keep building those with the pork, and then pineapple, and then pork, and pineapple. And then we're going ahead and capping it with that other uh, one inch thick piece of pineapple, right? And we're gonna take two more of those skewers and push them from the top down. All right, so we got a pretty secured El Pastor football, <laughs> for lack of a better way of putting it, okay? Now that brings us to where we're at right now. We're outside, we're about to get this uh, wood fire fired up. We are gonna put it on the smoker setting first. We're gonna do it at 350 for about a half an hour. To check the internal temps, you know, the very internal part of the Al Pastor football. <laughs> we're gonna use our lightning instant read thermometer from Thermapro to check the temps as we go. Once we get it to about 140 or so, we're gonna go ahead and pull out that Al Pastor football. I'm just gonna keep saying that because I think it's kind of apropos. It looks like a football. And then we're gonna turn that grill all the way up on high setting and we're gonna just kind of rotate that football over the grill grates and start building that char on there. And we're just gonna do that until it's pretty much done, okay? Uh, the, temp the internal temperatures, I wanna make sure at least that we're cooked through to about 145, and I'll put the Celsius here too. 145 internal on the pork. We might go a little bit over, but since this pork has been so heavily marinated and we have those pineapple chunks running through, there's gonna be plenty of juices running through there. So if we take it a little bit over on the internal temperatures, 
you're gonna be okay. Basically, this is getting sliced and chopped for tacos anyway, so don't stress about that if you go a little bit over. We want that wonderful char on there that you would get on a, you know, a spigot or a outdoor grill or on a, on a trompo, I think that's what it's called. Uh, what you see in Mexico, the trompo things, it's a vertical spit and it uh, rotates and the heat's behind it and they slice it off as it cooks on the outside. So we're trying to mimic that as best as possible. Real quick, if you guys wanna get yourself one of these lightning instant read thermometers, links down below for it. Uh, there's a deal right now, my, my link always gets 20% off, but they have some sale going on uh, this weekend. So uh, you catch it for a lot less. So hit that link and see what you can get. All right, let's go ahead and fire up that wood fire grill. Let's get this thing started. What do you say? Come on down. Got our grill plate in, shut that down, turn it to the smoker setting, take that temp to 350, and then we hit start. Let's get that football on. Woo, look at that smoke. Now that's a smoke show right there, baby. All right, let's get it on. We'll see you in a half hour or so. It's a football, clearly a football. <laughs> All right, shut it down. All right, team, we got some good news and we got some bad news. Good news first, we're not going to need the grill setting on this one. <laughs> the bad news is I kind of steered us wrong at the beginning. I made a mistake. I put the smoker setting at 350 instead of 250, right? So at that higher setting, the top got the char. Bad news is I gave you the wrong temps. So guys, I will have everything written below, the steps below. All right, bear with me on that one. Brain wasn't quite working. Should have been 250 a smoke, and then high grill temps. It's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna work with this. It's gonna be all right. Uh, we're gonna pivot a little bit. We're gonna leave it on the smoke setting for the duration, okay? If you look at it as it is right now, the top is nice and charred, exactly what we want. So we're looking good there. And, and we're tipping out at 145 right in the middle. But when we roll that football over, I'm obviously not charred at all. And the temps are way below where we want them to be. We are just, like I said, we're gonna keep it rolled over and give it a little bit more time on that smoker setting at 350. And then it should be nice and charred by the time we get done. Okay, so we won't have to use the grill setting. So the good news is, we're just gonna keep it on one setting. We don't have to pivot, we don't have to move and groove. Don't have to pull the football out and let the grill fire up, right? We're just gonna keep it the way it is. So in the instructions, it'll be, we'll keep it at the 350 Fahrenheit and Celsius will be around here somewhere through the whole cook, okay? It's, this is a lot easier, trust me on that one. Hey, listen, even I am susceptible to brain lapses. Hit a thumbs up if you are too. We'll check on this in another 20 minutes or so. We should have a nice char on the other side and we'll be able to slice into it and give it a try. Stick around guys. Thanks so much for being here with me. Even though I had a little brain laughs. Come on back. All right, y'all, we're done. We got all sides nice and charred up. So when we uh, slice them up, there'll be a mix of char and not char. So let's go ahead and get this in the house. And we'll start slicing it up, make some time. Guys, we're back in the house. It's done. We've let it rest a little bit, kind of chill out. Got some tortillas ready, some cilantro, some green onion. We're going to make some tacos with this stuff. But the main character of this one is the Al Pastor. So I'm going to slice into it. It's going to be good stuff, guys. Check it out. Shave off the meat and the pineapple. You can see it's done on the inside. Looking good, boys and girls. Got enough here to make a taco. And we'll trim up the rest for uh, for the rest of the fam. But you see you got that nice charred up al pastor, but it looks beautiful on the inside. Mixing up with some of that charred pineapple. It's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna chop this up real fine. And you got the pineapple and the pork and all the flavors going on in there. It's gonna be perfect for tacos. Let's get these tacos built, what do you say? A little bit of you, a little bit for you. Got some uh, green onion and cilantro. Not a fan of white onion, so if you like white onion in there, go for it. A little bit of cilantro. There's your dish. Let's give it a try. Y'all, we're done. Guys, beautiful tacos right here. Cheers, y'all. Of course, you got some corn tortillas with it. It's good stuff, y'all. Gosh, that was too good. <clears throat>
Yeah, that was too good. Mm. You got a sweet, smoky, little bit of spice, but not heavy duty spice. Just, you know, spice. Perfectly done. Now I know we had to pivot a little bit in the, the middle of the cook, but like I said before, ingredients and instructions will be down below in the video description. Make sure you kind of follow those along as opposed to jumping around kind of like what I did on this one. But too dang good, give this one a try. If you want to get yourself one of those wood fire grills, Guys, there's a link down below. It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost anything more to use, but it helps your boy out. If you want to get some of the knives, the cutting boards, all the stuff I use in my videos, links will be down below. If you want to become a show producer like all these people in front of me, people that don't mind pivoting through a cook to make it work out right, <laughs> hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. But other than that, guys, we're done. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.